Hello, this is a stateroom tour of 7201 on Norwegian Sky. Now, that's the kids club. If you don't like kids, this might not be the room for you. <laughs> but I sleep with earplugs and I've had kids, so it doesn't bother me at all. I believe this is branded as a solo cabin, even though there's two beds, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, there's several other solo cabins that are right in the same row as this one. When you first come in on the left, you've got a closet for hanging items. And then the second closet has a safe, some drawers. Now the sky is just doing short cruises right now. This is like four or five days. So I just bring my medium sized suitcase and put it on the couch right here. I don't really put any of my clothes on the doors and stuff, but. Um, and then over here, there's some storage. There's a TV, some storage down there. And I'll show you the bathroom real quick. Now, some people complain about these showers and you know what? I'm short. I'm kind of small. It's fine. The main thing you got to pay attention to is make sure the curtain stays inside so you don't flood your floor. And then there's no, these, instead of being the normal things that you turn this way on the shower is like a pull up, which is good because you've got your, I don't know, I think it's easier to change the temperature and stuff for me. Um, but I hung my loofah thing off of the shower head because there's no, there's not really anywhere else to hang it. So I just put it right there. Um, and this just closes into a big circle like that. And so it wants to come out. So you just gotta make sure when you're in the shower that you push it in. And also you can see that I kind of pull the head sideways like this and then turn it that way. And I just feel like I have more room that way. I mean, maybe it's just an illusion, but whatever. That's how I do it. Um, towels and stuff. Shelves, two culture things. Lots of shelves. I like the storage in here. Um, shelves on this side. There's a plug here. And I like the way the layout is. I've been on cruise ships before where when you're on the potty, you feel like crammed into a corner, but there's plenty of room here. It looks small, but it's it's fine. Like I, I kind of like it. Um, the air in this room works really well. <laughs> As you can see, I don't have it turned all the way down because I was actually freezing, which is weird for me. Um, I usually can't get the rooms cold enough, but this room gets nice and cold, so that's cool. So I mentioned I'm traveling alone, and you'll notice the way that I asked them to configure the beds. Um, I had actually asked them ahead of time and they didn't, but whatever. I just talked to my guy and said, hey, could you, you know, and he, he separated them for me. Um, because I don't need a gigantic bed. I don't sleep like a starfish. So I just curl up in a ball and one bed is fine. And the other real reason that I did this is because I can walk up to here like that and I can look out the window. I can get right up to the window and look out the window, which is, oh, the camera looks a little dirty, but it, it's really cool to, when you're coming in and you just kind of rest your elbows on this little windowsill and this, these have drapes that they're complete like blackout. They get really dark drapes to cover the window. Um, so that, so that's how I asked them to configure it, and honestly, having this open space in the middle makes the room feel a lot bigger to me, also. Um, when you walk in and they're shoved together in the middle, it's kind of like you have these little eh, eh, two spots on either side to kind of inch beside the bed, but here, now you have like this big open area, I can, you know, swing my legs off the side, and it's just more comfortable to me. Um, so, power. So, there's overseas. 
I say overseas, haha, it's a cruise ship. Um, US plug, your phone jack. So, something to be aware of besides the one I showed you in the bathroom, this is like the only outlet, AC outlet in the room. So if you wanna put something over there, you need to have like a long cable. Now the lights do have the USB, like one USB plug in the side, but I think they're the old like USB to like the not fast USB. So if you wanna charge something fast, you're better off bringing your own power. Um, and you're not supposed to leave stuff plugged in your room when you're not in your room like you're not supposed to leave your phone plugged in charging it's a they consider it a fire hazard and the guy that cleans the room will come by and you know if he sees it plugged in he'll unplug your phone um but in this particular one i brought isn't long enough i have another one at home i didn't bring which i'm kind of mad at myself for but see i've just been kind of doing this which is funny right but that's as far as i can get <laughs> but you know so when i'm gonna I start winding down for the night, I put my stuff over there beside the bed, and I can, you know, lay it on top of there to charge while I'm sleeping. This this doesn't get hot at all or anything. Just, um, <clears throat> and But, you know, if I had my other one, I think it's a 15-foot, that I'd be able to snake it around and I'd be able to put it on this table and, and you know, charge the phones and stuff that way. So keep in mind that if you want to have something beside your bed, you're going to want to have a long power cord so little stool here that I haven't touched actually <laughs> I'm usually just sitting on the bed um, little fridge that has some here's some waters for you drink one when we'll charge you whatever that's fine um, <clears throat> the trick about these doors well this one's got a holes here so I don't know if that helps some but I've always heard if you want your fridge to get really cold to prop this door open a bit um to like for ventilation or whatever and i guess it helps it get colder but maybe with that hole there maybe that helps i'm not really there's no vents in the side or anything so so that's about it can you put luggage under the bed it's again something i haven't really done because it's not a long cruise but you got a lot of that's pretty high you've got room for couple big suitcases under your bed. Um, just got my backpack jammed there. And that's about it. Um, I've honestly been really happy with this room. It's one of, it's for, you know, being a solo traveler, it's tons of space for me. It's all I really need. And I love the window and I love sitting and looking out the window. So, or standing and looking out the window, I should say. But anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Have a great cruise.